Hi, it's Zach. In this video lecture, I'll be giving you an introduction to the ggplot2 package. And uh, some of the material in this set of slides and scripts are adapted from Chapter 3, Data Visualization, of the book R for Data Science by Garrett and Hadley. So what's ggplot2? Basically, this is a package which is part of the tidyverse. And there's something called the grammar of graphics, which is basically a coherent system for describing and building graphs. So the GG in ggplot2 basically stands for grammar of graphics. To illustrate how the ggplot2 package works, we'll be using the MPG data frame, which contains observations on 38 different models of cars. In particular, we, be, we will be focusing on two columns, the displacement and the highway miles per gallon. Mm -hmm. So let's create our first ggplot. And this is what the code looks like. The code is split over two lines. So this is a single statement, but the plus means that this first line is not complete and you need to, and R should run both lines together. So you use the ggplot function, you give ggplot the data, and you tell ggplot to draw points with the x-axis equal to the displacement and the y-axis equal to the highway miles per gallon. And this is what the result looks like. A bunch of dots scattered somewhat randomly. ggplot2 is nice because there's a very intuitive way to code ggplots. Uh, this is the same code I showed you in the previous slide. And you can extract the templates or the pattern of ggplots as follows. So you have to give it some data you have to give it some geometric functions, such as points or lines or bars, and you need to give it some aesthetic mappings. So ggplot basically contains three things, the data, the aesthetic mapping, and the geometric objects. And we'll be, we'll be going through what these are in the next few slides. Now, it's when you are coding ggplots, it's very important to put the plus in the right place. So if you put the, the right place, basically is at the end of the line, like so. If you put the ggplots, uh, sorry, if you put the plus in the wrong place, which is at the start of the line, then basically the R thinks that you are, have two statements this first one and the second one. The first statement won't draw anything because you have no geometry and no aesthetics. And the second statement doesn't make sense because it has no data. And it starts with a plus, which also doesn't make sense. And if you try to run this wrong code, the editor will basically give you an error that says, hey, you did something wrong, so you better fix it. So if you see this error, you know what you did wrong. You put the plus at the start when it should be at the end. The final uh, thing I want to discuss in this video lecture is the ggsave function, which you can use if you want to save your plot as a PNG file or PDF or a JPEG. And this might be useful if you want to insert that your, your plot into, for example, your PowerPoint slides, your Microsoft Word document, your Google slides, or so on. All right, let's take a look at how the code works. This is going to be a pretty short coding demo. So as usual, you need to load the tidyverse. And then uh, let's take a quick look at the mouse per gallon, sorry, the MPG data frame. Remember the displacements and the highway mouse per gallon columns that we'll be plotting. This is the first ggplot, command enter or control enter for you Windows people. And all right, 
If you put the plus in the wrong place, then you will basically be splitting that single statement into two statements. The first statement doesn't do anything, the second statement gives you an error that tells you basically what you did wrong. Okay, and this is the right code. All right, so now we can save the previous gsave basically saves the last most recent plots, in other words, this plots here as a file in the working directory. So this is my working directory right here. Notice that there's four R files, but no PNG, PDF, or JPEG files. If I say, if I run this, then the PNG file has just appeared. If I run this, then a PDF file appears. If I run this, the JPEG file appears. And I'll just open one of them to show you that it's basically the same. And you should just trust me because I'm so trustworthy that the other files are also correct. All right, so um, to conclude, it's easy and fun. Well, I guess this part might be a little bit subjective, but I think it's pretty fun to make graphs using the ggplot2 package. And a ggplot has three components that are data and aesthetic mapping and geometric objects. It's very important to put your plus in the right place, which is at the end of the line, and you can use the ggsay function to export your plots. That's all for now. See you next time. Bye.